I'm here today at Sandy Utah Shields with our lead technician Zach Lance and today we're going to be putting together my brand new Checkpoint SLR99. Now we did a project one build on this so I could get a few of the parts customized as well as ordered a few custom parts so this is going to be a pretty unique build um, and yeah I'm excited to see it so let's get to it. While this is the same exact frame I was running last season, the biggest change you're gonna see here is I've switched back to one by. As for the project one, there's a few parts that I customize, starting with the cranks, which I have switched out for 165 millimeter cranks. Um, this helps with my hip angle. I got short legs and a long torso. Next, you'll see the stem is 100 mils instead of the stock 90 that comes on a 56 frame. So it just stretches me out a little bit more, again, with my long torso, it's what I need. Going back to the one by system, now this is the option stock from Trek with a 10 to 44 set on the back. For me, that's not quite enough. However, I'm swapping out for an E13 cassette. So this is gonna be a nine to 45. So I get one more tooth top and bottom. And that's actually gonna make a huge difference in the upper end range. With the 46 tooth chain ring that I have on order, um, I'll actually have a taller gear than my 4810 that I had on my bike from the previous year. I'm going with the Pirelli Gravel H's and since I have Belgian Waffle Ride Arizona coming up in less than a week which features over 50 miles of mountain bike and moto trail I'm going with size 45. I ran these same exact tires last year and I really liked them although they are a little bit lacking in grip they're super fast and efficient and there's a lot of smooth pavement on this course too. Stoked to have these tires back on. All right, so here it is all complete. Again, I'm still waiting on that 46 tooth chain ring as well as the chain keeper, but those would be the only two things I need to add to this bike to have it all set up for the season. Um, thank you guys all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for a lot more race vlogs coming up with me on this bike.